Hello. Today's video is about flying monkeys and how to cope with them. If you've seen the movie The Wizard of Oz, you probably remember the flying monkeys. They were ugly, scary little monkeys that the Wicked Witch sent out to do her evil bidding. As a kid, I thought they were awful. I had no idea, though, that there was a real-life version, which is a thousand times worse. Flying monkeys are the narcissist evil minions. They think the narcissist is wonderful and there must be something terribly wrong with you if you don't. They'll work hard to get you to see the light and realize how wonderful the narcissist is, even if what they do shows them to be completely foolish. If you and your narcissistic parent have a disagreement or you sever contact with that parent, you can count on the flying monkeys coming into your life in droves trying to make you fix this relationship. I have found most flying monkeys to be covert narcissists rather than genuinely caring people who honestly have been duped by the original narcissist. A caring person wants to hear both parties' version of the situation, and they know when they're getting too involved. They also don't tell anyone else what to do. They may offer advice, but they don't bark out orders. Covertly narcissistic flying monkeys, however, have no interest in hearing any information on the situation other than what the narcissist says. They will shut you down fast if you try to tell them your side. They'll also order you and or use guilt trying to force you to fix this relationship. And by fix it, they mean go back to being abused. Flying monkeys are basically a big nuisance. If at all possible, it's usually best to cut them out of your life. Unfortunately, I realize this isn't always possible for many reasons. If you must deal with them, I have some pointers that might help. First off, I recommend prayer is the best place to start. Ask God to give you creative and effective ways to deal with a flying monkey, as well as to help minimize the effects of their toxic and abusive behavior on you. You also need to make sure the flying monkey knows that the narcissist is not a topic you're willing to discuss with that person. State that boundary very clearly. Change the subject. Change the subject repeatedly and even be rude if you have to, but do not discuss the narcissist with a flying monkey. There are infinite other topics you two can discuss. Shared interests, the weather, current events, something else, anything else. Talk about those things instead. Anything you've heard the flying monkey say about the narcissist, just let it go in one ear and out the other too. If you and the flying monkey are friends on social media, always think before you post. If for whatever reason you absolutely have to share something about the narcissist, then block the flying monkey from seeing it. Also block the flying monkey's friends from seeing your post so no one can accidentally slip and mention what you said. And if the flying monkey says something to you on social media, remember you can delete the comment or you can simply ignore it. Whichever you do, don't give that flying monkey any response because that will only fuel their fire. Remember what I said earlier, flying monkeys are often covert narcissists and all narcissists take any attention, good or bad, as narcissistic supply. Once they finally can get a reaction from you, they'll continue doing it more and more just to get that supply. Lastly, don't let yourself be swayed by anything the flying monkey says. I know they can be very convincing sometimes, and it can be hard, but they don't have your best interest at heart. Their motives are purely selfish. Selfish people don't care about what's best for you. They don't care if what they want will hurt you either. All they care about is getting whatever it is they want. You cling to the truth and ignore what the flying monkey has to say, and ask God to give you strength because he will. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you next time.